Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Ferret Fight. My name is Mr. Dougie Weasel and today I am once again all alone because I didn't read didn't record enough videos to finish off this week. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh yes, I am here. My name is Mr. Dougie Weasel. I am here playing a very special game that I personally enjoy. The game is called Shadow Tactics Blade of the Shogun. Only the demo because the real game is uh very expensive. Uh, I can't play it, and I, I'm not really that much of a PC player, but uh, this game's really good. So basically, uh, Shadow Tactics Blade of the Shogun is an RTS, a real-time strategy game, where you have to not only think um, two steps ahead, but you also got to think four steps ahead whenever you uh, decide to do anything. And this game is very difficult if you don't already know what to do. Like, when I first played this, uh, as you can see... Uh, load I've been I've played this before and this is one game that encourages um, save scumming or quick saving because you want to be able to get back in the action after failing or get back just before you fail get back to get back in the action just before you failed after failing because if you <laughs> because it takes so long to get back to where you were it's because you have to like sneak past all the things that you did. Shut up, phone. Sneak past all the things you like redo all the things that you did. That it's really taxing on whenever you do it. So anyway, we're gonna be playing this. We got Hanzo, uh, Genji, Zenyatta, uh, May, but I haven't seen Symmetra yet. <laughs> and, um, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I've seen one, two, three, four, but I haven't seen her because once you get past, no, no, I didn't want to continue. Shit. All right, I'm back. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, yeah, so like I was saying, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing the first mission in the game. And uh, that's basically this mission because this one um, is much more difficult. And because this this is the real-time strategy game, right? This, this mission is on a timer, which means you have to think faster than you normally would. Because this game, this part here, is very easy. So anyway... We're gonna play, pl be playing this one. I've played this one already. I played it on normal, and you get to see um, Hanzo, uh, Genji, and uh, Zenyatta all in one. All right, so play. Uh, balance difficulty. This is how the game is meant to be played on the first playthrough. Uh, it's still challenging, but slightly forgiving. All right, let's go. Well, mainly that's because. Enemies detect you almost instantly and are aggressive. Characters with less health, characters have less health. Recommended for expert players. I'm not an expert and I'm not a novice, so let's play normal. What's the badges on this? Oh. Okay. All right. So in my previous let's play, oh, not previous let's play. My previous playthrough of this, I tried doing this. Uh, this, this, the this, for one, the the badges you get. Um. In order to get one of those badges, you have to not kill anyone and not killing anyone in, like that you're not supposed to kill. Uh, and that is extremely difficult because when you knock out an enemy, they wake back up and they go searching for you. And if you're in, if you're in that area after you knock them out, they will find you and they will detect you and you will have to restart over. Oh, look at that. They didn't take that much longer than the last time. All right, let's go. So I can't remember where what time period this is based. I want to say Edo period. Early. Oh, there, <laughs> Japan early early Edo period. Yes, there it is. All right. So if it if it to you the game looks like it's running really laggy, it probably is. That's just because I want to keep the textures like this because these textures are freaking gorgeous and beautiful. Stab it in the back. You just got stabbed in the back. Suckle. Just can't have you warn the others up there. Ah. Oh. Yes. All right. So this game is played. This so you see this. This is a beautiful game. This game is freaking gorgeous. Nest of guards. Would have thought this might actually get challenging. Oh, his name is Hayato. So I gotta get from there to there. I'll keep my head down just in case. Just in case I must keep my head down, and so that I get not, so I do not get detected. Barricades everywhere. Bet they're preparing for the Shogun's next attack. Ooh. Shogun. First order is to reach that gate. 
Should be a good warm up for the real mission. Hmm. All right. I while well, scrolling back through that, I just saw something that. Better hurry though. The Shogun will start his attack soon. All right. So this is how you move. You click around using uh, the the left mouse to move around. You pick up stuff by holding control and clicking on it, and you can throw this guy in the water. And down you go. Goodbye, swamp friend. All right, let's get a move on. All right, I can change the camera by doing that as well. Uh, don't re I don't recommend doing that unless you actually have to. All right, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, Zia. Oh. No, not. come on, Hanzo. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Oh yeah, by clicking on the guard, you can actually, if by well, by right click on the guard, you can see their line of sight. Now, as you can see, this guy can see everything in front of him and slightly see anything on top of this roof. This guy can see everything in front of him and slightly nothing else. That's it. All right. Let's go. Have to improvise. Oh, I got it. I'm going in. They never go directly where you point them. I have to take a shortcut. So you have to be like, hey, go, go right over here instead of going all the way over here. All right. Mm. Also, this up here, this is your last save. So the game is telling me, hey, um, you didn't uh, quick save, you didn't scum save uh, like a minute, uh, a minute 30 seconds ago. You might want to do that just in case you didn't know. So press B to open your log mission. Uh, mission logs is a similar. You can also give you hints to the log mission. Uh, tips, all tutorials can be picked up, will appear in the mission log. Oh, okay. All right, let's go. Any and jump. That was a close one. That rock almost got me. All right. Move like water. Move like water. Fly like an eagle in the sea. Rotating your camera is very important. No straight path. Right, come on, man. Just gonna just jump over there. Just go where I want you to go. Uh, you can quick save during any point. So basically, here's how quick save works. Move like water. Now, initially, I don't really want to knock this guy. Okay, quick save. F5, saving real quick. <laughs> so initially, I wouldn't want to kill this guy. So I would switch over to my fist and just punch him back in the head. But right now I'm one, I'm in one of those one of those moves just to go for a killing spree. So I'm just gonna take him out now. And you're dead. You stay down. Now, if I don't hide this by oh see there, what was that? The Shogun Army will attack soon. We will face them with honor. Always guess oh okay. I never actually saw this. These guys ran off to fight in the war. Where are they going? Okay, gotcha. So now, now I have to pick this guy's body up just in case. Quiet. Uh, any other situation, I wouldn't have to. I pick those guys' bodies up and put them inside bushes. No now pressing space. Okay, so. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. This is a civilian. Killing them is a bad thing, really. To be honest with you, it's, it's kind of bad. But if you don't kill them, and if they see you, they will run to the police. Like, the, like they, won't, they won't attack you if they see you, but they will run and go get the police and tell them, tell the police to come kill you, come get you. And the more enemies, and after that, it just gets extremely difficult Quiet. to play. Just gonna take this guy out. No, 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 no. Ah! F8. God dang it. Why didn't he attack? <sighs> okay. Okay, it's because I skipped over the scroll. The scroll of knowledge. I should have read the scroll. I'm an idiot. Now I gotta go back to just before when I killed that guy and redo this whole part. God damn it. All right, so that's yeah, that's that's why quick saving is important. So you don't have to repeat stuff. Genjutsu. Okay. He even says genjutsu. 
This game's awesome. Yeah. Move like water. Move like water. You move like they do. Okay, so I can't go out there now because he'll see me. Look at that freaking gauge of sight. Line of sight. Okay. Now. Now I'm going to, I'm going to go over here and click on this. Oh, they start to death. Shh, don't that way to go. Okay, how does this is this ninja to kill enemies quickly in silence? Press A, then use the left mouse click. Use Y for normal attack. Then you carry the bodies and not kill anybody. And you're dead. Now I can pick him up and do nothing with him. Oh yeah. Another uh, very powerful thing to do, a very helpful thing to do is to press H, like it says right here, to highlight everything that you can interact with. Now, as a ninja, this guy, uh, Hayato, Hayato, has the ability to climb up walls and scale buildings so that he can avoid detection this way. Now, first of all, before I continue forth, I have to make sure this guy can't see me. Okay, he can't see me. Just like John Cena, he can't see me. Now, what I'm going to do here is going to press E. I'm going to now jump down here. And then I'm gonna press Y so that I go to my normal fist because I wanna I wanna knock this son of a bitch out. <laughs> knock him out. Boom. You didn't see shit. Bye bye, motherfucker. I'm out. Peace. Alright. Now I'm gonna press F5 because I don't want to go through all that again. Jesus Christ. It's a pain in my ass. Alright, what we got? Ah! All enemies, uh, ha, ha, all enemies have a field of view, aka line of sight, representing their cone of vision. Uh, choose any, choose an enemy and use the right click to display their uh, view cone. Enter an enemy's view cone and it fills with yellow. If the yellow reaches you, the enemy will spot you and raise the alarm. Raising the alarm is the, literally the worst thing an enemy could do, because, uh, like I said before. It calls out reinforcements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock this guy out. Get over there. Punch him in the back of the head. Boom! KO, sucker! I'm going to pick him up. going to throw his ass in the well. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, Brent! Don't mind me. Just passing through. Alright, space. Uh, oh yeah, they can't see past objects basically in this. So, as long as you're crouching and hidden, they can't see you on top of roofs. Like when they're in that like super, super like liney bit, like like this right here, they can't see you as long as you're crouching, and if they're behind other stuff. So I could be standing here and they can't see me. I can go here. Now I just picked up a rock. With this rock, I can I can distract enemies and make them go other directions. Now I don't have to kill these guys, and I don't really want to, and I don't really need to. I'm gonna press F5. Gonna go like this. Hold D. Throw that. Fucking move. Bolt. Go 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 I have to get inside somehow. Forward, men. For the Shogun. Go! Ah, uh, this guy's a badass. He's a Shogun. Damn you! Is he a Shogun or a Samurai? Samurai. Samurai. Okay. I think Shogun's like the king of an area. Nice chance. Better help him. So I got to help this guy out now. This guy's actually pretty freaking cool. If given the option, I will I will not kill an enemy. But if I have to, and they're in my way, I will put them down. Now I can just I can kill enemies with a shuriken. It's just like a real ninja. I pick the shuriken up after I've done it. See, that's a shuriken. No one will hear until it's too late. So what can do now is I press D. 
Then Shit quickly go over here, you. press S, and frap! Down. And he's dead. Now I have to pick this guy's body up and throw it in the trash. Boom. Okay, where can this guy see? You can see right there. I can hide here. I make noise. Press D. Throw this here. Climb up this ladder quickly, quickly, quickly. Press A. Kill him. Yes! Yeah, and he's dead. I can take his body and throw it off the edge. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what do I gotta do now? Hit this? Oh, this is how you interact with stuff, too. Oh, what was that? Oh, no! And they're dead. Just your involvement just now. Tell me your name so I can thank you properly. Mind if you let me inside first? I like being thanked in person. <laughs> Very well. I will repay my debt at once. The voice acting in this is pretty freaking awesome. They're really good. So now I can play as this guy right here. And he is one of the coolest characters here, other than the old man. But I will continue playing as him on the next episode of Fair Fight, of Fair Fight ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more, be sure to see, click to the next episode. And anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mistake Weasel, and I will see you in another episode. Peace.